What's up you guys and good afternoon. I got some new stuff and I wanted to show you um, a new order came in and nothing um, probably you haven't seen or maybe heard of, heard about, mostly restocking for me, some stuff I've used. One thing I haven't used, just kind of caught wind of, and you guys may not have used it and I'm gonna start using it more and we'll probably kind of do a deeper dive into it. Re-up on some colors of some stuff I've been using and that's primarily what I'm, why I'm doing this so you guys can see what I've been catching on, what I've been catching them on. And picked up a color of a couple baits that I've never used but I thought it may work. And I may have a couple situations where I can use it. So let's get into this. Should we save the best for last? Mm, yeah, let's save the best for last. So if you watch the channel, you know I'm using speed worms a lot. It just, for some reason, it, maybe I'm just not getting on the right area and the right timing. They just don't want bigger stuff. So speed worms, I've been using the small speed worm a lot. So got some green pumpkin, ran out of those. Hadn't even used this color since I've lived here. Um, but I'm noticing in that tannic, clear but dark water around that thicker matty kind of mucky grass seaweedy kind of thick hydrilla it's getting a real dark green color and that's what they're um what i'm catching them on red bug been killing them been killing them on the red bug clear water clouds or wind and just that not super clear but clear enough dark clear water that's been a good option. June bug, my staple. Um, love this color. When they're really feeding and they're really aggressive, dark water. I'm, I mean, I'd say probably I'm using it anywhere. If really any water color here. If it's dark, dark and clear, that's the color I'm going to. That is usually my first choice until I figure out they're just not very aggressive or they won't hit it. I'm using June bug. Uh, watermelon. Watermelon I've been doing really good on, which usually um, I'll use watermelon red in the spring. But um, these waters have cleared up and I've been focusing on the lakes that, I'm, that are clearer. So that watermelon has really been good. And once you add that red to it, it gets more of a brown. Green and red equal brown. So this really light translucent and it stays green has been a really good when they're, when they're not active. They're not feeding very well. Uh, they're not aggressive and the water is really clear. I got another pack of red bug. Cause like I said, it's been, it's been a good one. Picked up some watermelon red as well because I didn't have any. I usually use that in the big one. Um, I don't know if they didn't have it when I bought the smaller ones last time or when I originally bought them, but um, they didn't have it. But it, it adds an extra layer of color to the worm, makes it a little bit darker. Bluebird skies, no clouds, clear water. That watermelon is just the deal. It's been the deal for me for finding, at least finding non-aggressive fish and finding an area. So watermelon red, picked up some, now this is kind of sneaky. This is, um, give me all something here. These yum dingers and red bug. Red bug's just been the color on the chain and it's kind of trickulated to a lot of the other lakes. Just that the way the water has been, the water clarity, it's very translucent. I mean, red, I know shows up well to them. They can see red, but this red bug, it's been catching them for me. And summertime, red bug just seems to produce your plums. So picked up some more of those. When I can't get bites, this is the one I usually go to in Senkos, and I don't think many people are throwing it. 
uh, picked up a new color that I just, I had kind of heard some stuff and you guys are probably throwing it, maybe not. Um, but this Sungill color. Um, so kind of the first time I'm giving it a really, I'm seeing it, but what's dope about this color is it, it's kind of got a watermelon ready color, but there's a dark layer in it. So it kind of has that two tone kind of bait fish look. Um, unfortunately, it seems like it's more on the side than if you real if you um, rig it straight up and down. It's kind of on this side here. But um, a lot of colors in that worm, a lot of glitter in that worm. More glitters, more money, you guys know, but they're the same price, obviously. But I just thought, man, this color with this brim action going on, they're just feeding on small brim. Um, and around these darker waters, I mean, that's a great, to me, um, a great kind of shiner. Um, color around here um, Florida darker tannic clear water um, so I think this one's gonna be good I got some ideas of some places I want to use that um, it's kind of that go more golder it's got a golder tint to it and then um, picked up some more Z crawls and red bug like I said red bug's been working now it may end um, as these we're getting more rains especially this week uh, probably next week we're gonna have more rains. I'm um, actually all this week. It looks like the next two weeks, so that water might cut staying and staining up. It looks like a lot of these clear lakes that had a lot of grass. They're starting to kill that grass, so they're dingying up. But um, like I said, this color has been good. And in that Z crawl, if you guys read the description, I mean it's a hell of a. They got a good writer to write this description. Um, you know, it says. The fish will bite it in all moods. Finesse, they're aggressive, but another bait when it's been tough and I'm trying to locate fish, I'll throw that bad boy and it's getting me bites. Something they're not seeing a lot of and these, and these worms aren't cheap. So if I find fish, I usually switch to the speed worm and see if they'll hit that in red bug. And usually they do. Oh, I had the wrong color. That red bug. I had the wrong color in my hand. Plum. So I, when I was picking those up, I noticed they got plum. I don't know if they were out before or if they just added it to the color scheme, but plum, just another shade lighter, more translucent more neutral, um, high skies, low wind, clear water. That plum is really good. So picked up a pack of that just to see, and I don't get a lot of bites and I don't fish plum a lot, but I've had days where it excels. And that's pretty dope, but summertime, they just seem to move towards some of these more plum colors and I start using them a lot more. So that's plum. I don't know if they were out, but usually when they're out, it's still, you still can see the option. They tell you it's out, but I just noticed those. And the red bug, red bug is kind of been just the teal. It's got that green, very translucent. Very similar. And to be honest, I mean, just looking at it in this light, in this particular worm, the red bug seems to be more translucent than the plum, which in their, their regular uh, U-tail worms, that's not usually the case. They must have a lot more glitter in this. In their worms, full monsters, mag twos, the plum is very, neutral that glitter kind of darkens it changes the color giving y'all some juice here 
And last but not least, I picked up some of these Ozark rigs. As you guys can see, I had started seeing them a little bit online. Um, people doing some stuff. And then a some, couple people mentioned them on my um, one of my lives. So I picked up 3 8 and 3 16 They give that bait more of a, instead of your Texas rig that's going straight down, nose down, they're supposed to kind of give it that Cinco kind of fall. So we're gonna check in this. We're gonna do a deep dive on this bait, this rig. Hopefully it's as good as advertised. I mean, this is perfect for me and what I like to do. Offshore fishing, around grass. They say it's more weedless. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see if it's more weedless. It's a lot of weight. And then the way you gotta rig it is a little tricky. So we'll look at that, but I'll probably do something really soon on the Ozark rig and we'll see how it goes. Kinda, kinda excited about those. But like I said, they made it with, they made it with lead. So there is a lot of weight on this hook. You guys can see there's a lot of weight that you gotta use to rig this. And when I, um, we dig into this, I'll, I'll kind of go through how to rig it and the options for rigging it. But um, see that. And supposedly, you know, you don't have that weight in front, but we'll see. But you're gonna have that bait kind of in a weird spot. We'll see how well that does. I would think it would be better around hard bottom, not as much grass. But we'll dig into that. So there you go, guys. Just wanted to show you some of the stuff I picked up. I know it's not super sexy. A lot of this stuff you guys are using, but it does give you an idea of what I've been using and what I've been catching them on um, because I'm re-upping re on a lot of those colors. But I traditionally don't use the small speed worm. I always use the big one, but the small one's been the deal. As you can see from watching some of my videos and check them out, you can uh, see how I'm fishing them and what kind of equipment I'm using to fish them. But um, this year's been different small baits i still hadn't got on a big worm bite uh, maybe it's the lakes i'm choosing maybe it's my timing maybe it's the area but really haven't maybe the freshwater eels are just have disappeared um, in the florida lakes but when they're on those eels that big worm's a deal so don't do a lot of these videos i kind of want to do more but if you're like me i'd rather fish than talk about stuff talk about baits there's a million people talking about baits out there um, I'm not gonna come in here and tell you that you're gonna catch 97.835 more fish if you use these baits it's not the deal it changes it varies wind direction clouds clouds in and out it all changes but I do want to let you guys know and give you an idea of what I'm using um, stuff maybe I'm picking up because I've run out or new stuff I'm trying so we'll probably do some more of this Hopefully you can get a better location than the garage. It's hot as a mofo. We got rain. You can probably hear the thunder in the background, but thanks for tuning in, guys. I really appreciate it. Please hit that like and subscribe. Please check out the channel, and we will see you next time on BMAS Fishing. We out.